Hi everybody, welcome to Big Kiss Little Learners. Today I am in my own house. I'm in my kitchen today. I'm always somewhere different, aren't I? And today I've came on to read a wee story and it is More Ketchup Please. And it says at the bottom, Ruby's Tomato Teal. So Ruby means red. So I think she likes red sauce, tomato sauce. Do you think so? Because it's red? I don't know, let's find out. Before I start the story, can I just point out, look at that handprint all over this book. She's made it all messy. <sighs> Take note of this true story. It's not made up, of course, about my sister Ruby and her love for tomato sauce. So if you do know someone who is a ketchup fan, please make sure you tell them how our problems all began. When Ruby was a baby, Dad made a big mistake. He fed her the wrong bottle when he wasn't quite awake. He fed her tomato sauce. From that day on, it all went wrong, as nothing passed her lips without a generous topping of Ruby's favourite dip. She slodged ketchup on her baby food and ketchup on her toast, ketchup on her buttered bread and on her porridge oats. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed and yelled out loud, I want more ketchup, please! As Ruby started growing up, one bottle didn't last. Our little local corner shop was running out too fast. Dad went to the supermarket and emptied all their shelves. And staff were filling trolleys like busy little elves. And it says here, that's 685 pounds 50 pence, please. 685 pounds for ketchup? Oh! Meanwhile, at home, she glugged ketchup on her boiled egg and even in her soup. Ketchup on her ice cream too, that poured it with a gloop. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed and screamed again. I want more ketchup, please! To keep our Ruby quiet and to avoid her piercing shriek, my dad would shop for ketchup maybe 18 times a week. I suggested to my mum, let's make ketchup of our own. So we made our back garden into a tomato growing zone. Good idea. While they grew, she covered pizza and potatoes. She liked it more than mustard and tomato sauce on all desserts, which dripped into the custard. Ugh. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed with bright red cheeks, I want more ketchup, please! Dad sprayed tomatoes day and night to make them grow more quickly. While Ruby kept on eating, it didn't make her sickly. Next morning, the neighbours weren't too happy when instead of filling trolleys, we blocked our street with rows and rows of giant delivery lorries. As they delivered, Ruby glooped ketchup on her donuts and smeared it round her lips. Ketchup on her Brussels sprouts and loads more on her chips. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, oh, There's no more sauce! I want more ketchup, please! Ruby's news went round the world as supplies are running low. While we squished our own tomatoes as fast as they would grow, Mum called on all the countries, from Japan to the United States, send every ketchup bottle that you have in wooden crates. While Mum phoned, she covered biscuits and sweet waffles in the thick red gloopy lake. And Ruby even splodged it all over chocolate cake. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, we're running out! I want more ketchup! As helicopters flew over to drop off their supply, the army and the navy were all waiting on standby. Ruby dipped her chip in sauce and had a juicy suck, but to our surprise, she quickly stopped and let out a great big yuck. Then Ruby said, I don't like ketchup anymore. I'm finished with the red dip. Send the helicopters back. They've had a wasted trip. Tomato sauce is history. It's time to try new ways. From now on, Mum, I'll have my food with creamy mayonnaise. Oh my goodness, me. Oh, I can't believe.
believe that? She was ketchup mad and then she decided she didn't like it. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had a favourite food and your mum gets it for you all the time and suddenly you go, don't like it anymore? Charlie has. He's done that. Okay, thank you for listening. See you soon. Bye-bye.